Hey there! Uh, welcome to a first of uh, many parts of my playthrough of Indiana Jones and Emperor's Tomb. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite video games. It actually might be my favorite. Uh, I am a broke-ass bitch, so I am using a VHS recorder software to record things, and I'm trying to sync up things manually. So if there's some uh, sync issues, I apologize in advance. Um, I don't have a capture card yet. Uh, I'm thinking about getting one in the future so I can do more playthroughs like this, uh, with higher quality, higher res, uh, footage. But for right now, this is the best it's going to get. Uh, so anyway, this game, I heard about it. I think I saw an advertisement for it on one of the Indiana Jones DVDs that I had. And I was like, that looks like a lot of fun. And I love Indiana Jones. Like, when I was a kid, I was a huge indie stan. I loved the Indiana Jones movies. I watched them constantly. Uh, I was such a enormous fan of Indiana Jones. I read the Indiana, Indiana Jones novels, the novelizations. Uh, I, I, I was really big into Indiana Jones. And uh, this is one of the first games I remember being really excited for because I'm not I'll be honest folks I'm not really that big of a gamer so this is a whole kind of new thing for me but anyway when I got this game and I put it in the Xbox and I started playing I, it was a dream come true like I, I was Indiana Jones like I got to actually put myself in the fedora and of Indy and use the famous whip and and go on an adventure and it, it was just it was so awesome and it was so amazing so uh it's a game that's very near and dear to my heart and i honestly think it still holds up really well i think it's easily the best indiana jones game out there to date and uh i can't recommend it enough for anyone who's a fan of indiana jones anyone who's a fan of adventure games anyone who's a fan of uh this kind of uh, first person experience I, I i i really think it's a excellent great game it's one of those few uh games that are based on an ip that doesn't suck uh, i mean trust me i know <laughs> I, I had an original nes growing up and you know stupid because i was a stupid foolish kid who didn't know any better I thought that, hey, you know, games based on Ghostbusters and Predator and Darkman would be awesome because those movies were awesome. But no, those games were ass. So uh, I, I found out the hard way that most games based on movies were absolute garbage. So when you get a game like Indiana Jones and Emperor's Tomb that isn't absolute garbage, it, it's, a, it's a nice uh, change of pace. So I'm actually playing this on the 360, so there's going to be a few, like, sync errors in terms of audio, and there's a few other glitches and stuff, but it, it should be a decent enough thing. So here's one I, I've already been playing fairly recently, but I'm still going to load a game because it's a lot easier to kind of do it that way. So as you can see, I'm already, like, at Istanbul, in Istanbul uh, but I'm going to start from the very beginning. Um... The first uh, stage or part of the level is just a tutorial, but I'm still going to start there. You know, give you the full experience of Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. My commentary isn't the best. I apologize. I am not really. Let's just say uh, when I'm playing a game like this that, uh, that I'm really into, I'm probably not going to say a whole lot. But, uh, we'll see how this goes. As you can already see right from the get-go, it does a good job recreating the whole vibe and feel of the, of the Indiana Jones franchise. You got the map, you got the music that is, sounds like a straight from the movie. And in all honesty, I think for the time, the graphics are really good. I think there's an HD version on the Xbox One. That stone head marks the secret entrance into the lost city. Beyond the city lies the temple of the Black River Goddess. And inside, the idol of Kuruwatu. I'm close now. There's Indy. 
And and the voice actor who do, who plays Indy in this, he does a great impression of Harrison Ford. I don't think Harrison actually did the voice voice acting for this. But as you can see, I mean, it's it's got it's a pretty open world. It's got a good camera. I mean, you can look all the way around, 360 degrees. Um, good environment. There's some interaction. You go up to birds, they fly away. Um, I think the controls for this game are some of the best that I've seen. I mean, the best that I've personally played. But then again, I haven't played a whole lot of games. So <laughs> I might just be biased towards this game because I haven't played like a whole lot to, for comparison. But I mean, I played Halo. I played Mech Assault. I played, you know, a few games here and there. But overall, it, yeah. What happened there is I took a little damage uh, when Indy drops from pretty high spots he, he takes he takes damage so you want to be a little more careful when you're when you're uh, playing around with indie because you can take the, the damage adds up because eventually you're stuck you'll get into combat and stuff like that and you don't want to so this is how you how you take less damage um yeah, I think there's something behind here. Yeah. Secret areas. This is a little fun thing that is in a lot of... Uh, I think like in every level, at least once in every I, I, main level, I think. I don't think it's in every stage. But uh, you can find uh, artifacts. You find hidden artifacts throughout the game. So you actually do go around and do some archaeology. Well, I mean, do some Indiana Jones-style archaeology. Um, but yeah. Found the idol of Verawafu, or whatever the hell it is. I think that's what it was. Um, and we got to do a running jump. Alright, we did that one pretty good. Yeah, the symbols in the corner, whatever corner, show if you can interact with something. I don't know why that showed up there, because I don't think there's anything he can climb or do anything with in this section, so. Unless I missed it. I don't know. Maybe I missed it. Eh, regardless, who cares? Uh, this is a water fountain. This water to fill up my canteen. Yeah. This is a really fun take on uh, health. Uh, instead of like your typical everyday kind of uh, health packs and stuff, Indy uh, has a canteen. You fill up the water in the canteen. Uh, you drink the water from the canteen. It can replenish your health. Uh, there's a lot of hidden fountains. Well, they aren't always hidden. Some of them are. There's a lot of fountains throughout the throughout the game, uh, and I think every stage. So if you're like struggling with like with health or something there's options for you and trust me there's a lot of stuff that can really drain your health enemies you know various other things that want to eat you or bite you or attack you or you know i don't really remember dealing with snakes though i haven't finished the game yet but i don't remember ever dealing with snakes interestingly enough it was sharks, big ass crocodiles and shit, but never really snakes. So, kind of surprising. So, okay, Indy has to. I gotta do a long jump here. This is one thing about the game is kind of lame. The camera's really good, but it's kind of touchy. So, like, and and you have to use the camera in order to line them up correctly for like long jumps, and sometimes like it can be a little little tricky. Like right there. See, I fucked up. But that's my fault. And thankfully I didn't die. But I did suffer. I did take a lot of damage though. So. That's probably because I was just jabbering. I was too busy jabbering. I didn't pay attention. And this is before I'm even dealing with any enemies. 
And these parts are going to be pretty small, folks. The reason why these are going to be shorter parts is because of the amount of space the video takes up with this ghetto-ass way that I'm, I'm doing shit. So, um... Forgive me! Ugh! Alright, there we go. Alrighty. Cool. Is there anything over here? Uh, that doesn't look like it's going to lead to anywhere. I'm just going to go over here. Alright, got the machete. Because I need that. And... This whole thing of dropping off a ledge safely, you don't have to use our trigger you can just slowly get to the ledge and then wait for the animation to have Indy fall off, and then you're good. This is one of the glitches on the 360. The music keeps playing for some reason. Um, this is your inventory. So you have... Oh, it's the idol of Ramba Vihara. Kirathu, I think, is a different one. Uh, there's your canteen. There's a revolver. There's the machete. There's his whip, which is... The whip mechanics are great. Some of the best that I, I've honestly seen in anything. Uh, definitely in a, best in an Indiana Jones game. So then we cut through these vines. Shetty. And then... Good thing I got my whip. Yep. Good thing you did, Indy. So... Good. There we go. That's just a little bit of it. Like, you can jump and whip. You can whip people and whip them to you. And then, uh... See, I'm so excited to use the whip. But I just... I just, uh... Proactively brought it out. You can whip people, bring them to you, and then, uh... Punch them. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of fun stuff you can do. So... Loading, loading, loading. Okay, here we go. Indy does his weird looking slide. And I don't think there's anything over here. There's a dead guy, but not, not, not much. So I'm going to need the machete to get through these vines. So let's cut, cut through them like butter. And... Cutscene. Ivory hunters. These guys are no boy scouts. You better watch my back. Yeah, you better watch your back, Indy. All right. Um. Speaking of that, I know. I think there's an ivory hunter in here. You know what? I don't want to fucking deal with his ass. So. You know what? Actually, let's fucking let's duke it out. Let's duke it out. Come on. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch! Yeah! I mean, as you can see, like, it's really a lot of fun to punch people in this game. Like, they did a really good job with the fight mechanics. And, you know, button mash, you know, it's a fun button masher. I think mean, there's a lot of different combos you can do, and there's, like, blocks and shit, but... I, I've... I'm such a... Honestly, I'm just lazy. I don't do a lot of blocks when I fight, because I'm just a fucking lazy bastard. So I take damage that I probably don't need to. But, uh... I try to use the kicks, because, you know... Okay, alright. Turn around, Indy. Oh, fuck! Alright. Okay, so... Yeah, Indy might find something of use if he breaks these boxes. This is where you can find different things, like med kits. Uh, yeah, you actually do have, like, med kits, like, kind of like health kits. But then you can find revolver ammo, uh, shotgun, man shotgun ammo, if I could say the fucking word. All different types of things. Uh, that are very fun. Very useful. Um... These two fucking idiots, I'm not, I, I, I'm gonna shoot them. I'm not getting into fisticuffs with these two. Yep, nope. Fuck that. Let's 
So the music still thinks I'm in a fight, but I'm not. So, uh... There is another artifact in this level. Uh, but you have to do something, like, fancy to get to it. And I, I really don't want to deal with that right now, so... I don't think you can get up there. That's not going to do anything anyway. But I think... It has to do with something of getting up to this level. I don't know how I get up there. But uh, I, I'm just not going to bother right now. I only have so much gigabytes, so much space. I just want to get through this level. Uh, Yeah, because what you have to do is find a way to get over to that box. And then cut the rope. And then it falls down. And then, and then you can get an artifact out of there. But I... I don't, I don't want to deal with it right now. Um, over here is, uh, I believe, there's another fountain in here. Yep. I was right. I didn't really need it, but just wanted to show you. There's another fountain. Ah, maybe this is how I do it. Maybe I actually might show you how to do this after all. I kind of forgot how to... Come on, get up there, Indy. Alright, so I'm up here. So if I remember correctly... Well, I need to be up here anyway, because that's how... You do something with the crocodile. But I'm trying to remember how to get over there. To that particular... Oh. Maybe... Ah, okay. Alright. Okay. So anyway. Take out my whip. Whip it. Whip it real good. Yeah, dad jokes. That's what you'll get with me. Because I guess I'm a dad at heart. So this is pretty cool. You can do wall hanging and stuff like that. Uh, got a whip again. Okay, alright, so I'm here. I don't know how I can do it, though. How do I... And he doesn't want to get on top of that for some reason. I, I don't understand. Ah, there we go. Okay, I think I have to jump. Nope, just got my ass burned. Yeah, that was very... That was... That was... That was nice. That sure, that sure helped. Good one. Good one, Indy. Nice, nice job. Smooth. Smooth move. Um, I do have water, but I'd rather just refill the canteen. I'd rather just refill my health this way. What's kind of interesting is, like, you could do that. Like, even if your canteen is full, like, it'll still, like, replenish your health. Like, how does it do that if there's if the water is full? It's the ma it's magic. And that's that's how it does it. It's just magic. I don't know why he takes damage when he does that, but okay, whatever. It's only a teensy bit of damage anyway. Remember how to do it. I know that it's you use the whip to get the artifact down people who played this game like tons of times are probably like dude what the fuck are you doing like you're supposed to do this and did this and then that and then I'm like I don't fucking remember oh shit why the fuck did that fall off I don't okay how am I supposed to it's saying use the whip how am I supposed to use the whip Oh, because I'm standing next to the crocodile, that's why. Duh! I think there's a way, though, to get on top of that thing. Do I have to get on top of the crate here? Don't let me get on top of the crate. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if I can get this stupid artifact. I 
think you have to leap onto the. But I don't know how to do that without like fucking killing myself. I'd rather not die to get an artifact. Ah, fuck it. Fuck the fuck the fortune and glory. All right, so this level, the floor is gonna fall if I remember correctly. So you gotta make sure you get on the whip before that happens. And then this is pretty cool. You grab it and then you kick shit down. Yeah, like in that uh other level. Okay, um, I think there's some fucking asshole with a shotgun over here, if I remember correctly, somewhere. Yeah, there's some dickwad with a shotgun. Uh, that, that surprisingly took more damage than I thought it would. No, I just drink some water. Alright. Do, 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 do. I think. Alright, we're gonna go over here. Okay, that's not gonna do anything. Uh... Yep, you can swim underwater, do all kinds of cool stuff. really good uh, swimming mechanics too. It's just the controls, everything. It's just really good, to be honest. And I'm backtracking, I know, but... Okay, that's it. I think I was... Okay, so I can't get up there. So I guess I can get up here, though. I don't know why. Oh yeah, there's another fountain over here. Okay, cool beans. Ha! <laughs> yeah, if it's full, like, Indy looks at you like, you're a fucking dumbass. Look at this. He's like, come on, man. It's full. Fucking dipshit. You moron. Okay, I need to get to that platform over there. Let's see if I can get over there. Alright, cool. Alright. Yeah, I know he can grab how to grab ledges. We already showed that me how to you show you showed you showed people how to do that in the other level. Oh fuck. Uh 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 Fuck you. Fuck off. Uh uh. None of that nonsense. Alright, so Get this, grab this vine and play Tarzan. I think we gotta go over there. Well, let's have to move down a little bit more. So I don't think. Yeah. Alright. Swing. And away we go. I will take that, thank you. Thank you. I'll take it. Well, I think there's another guy around here somewhere. Yeah, there's like a there's another poacher. Okay, we gotta use the machete. Cut through these vines. Okay. What was the point of that, though, then? What, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do now? Okay. That was... That was pretty pointless. That, that, what was the point of that? I don't fucking know. Alright, so... I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, no, it was just there. Okay. Ah. Uh, 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 mm, mm -hmm. There's a little crocodile. So I should probably try to get over there. Alright. How much damage am I going to take if I leap over there? We'll find out.
Okay. Oh fuck, oh my god! <laughs> Is that a fucking heart attack? I really almost fucking fell. To start over and do all this shit to get back up there again. Uh, uh. Alright. Oh, isn't this like some kind of trap or something? Yeah, there we go. Now I'm in the water again. Okay. Um, what is... Okay. Yep, I think this is it. Or it could just be a bunch of bullshit, but no, I think this is the right... I think I'm doing the right thing. I think I chose wisely. I think there's a poacher around the corner. Okay. Uh, nothing in here. Oh, except that. Yeah, I need to need to pull that. Oh fuck! Ah! Oh no! Um. Uh uh. Where's the other guy? Where the fuck is the other guy? Oh, you're hiding, huh? You know what? Oh fuck! He has a shotgun. Uh, yeah, not not for ver. Fucking god damn it! What the fuck did I do? Why did I do that? Where the fuck did he go? Where the fucking shotgun? Fuck you! All right. Yeah. I took damage, I probably didn't need to, but... I like punching people, man! It's so much fun. Uh, Indy, drink more water. That wasn't enough. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go! I think that's it for that particular part of Ceylon or whatever. If we get to a cutscene here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably gonna, uh, no, I don't think the cutscene's until later, because I know there's like a pretty extended cutscene. Um, I think I might still call it a, call it a, a day for this particular uh, playthrough for right now. Like I said, I only have so much, uh, so much space. And I don't want to spend so much time uh, with all the editing, you know, editing everything together. But anyway, uh, that's a taste of Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Uh, I will definitely do, be doing more of these, uh, depending on not think, how things turn out. Because, like I said, I love this game. This game is so much fun, and I love playing it. And, uh, yeah. So thanks for uh, watching uh, my playthrough, or my attempt uh, to play through Indiana Jones and uh, the Emperor's Tomb. And uh, I guess stay tuned for the next time I uh, pick up the whip and, and the controller and, 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 and the fedora and kick some butt and find some artifacts. <laughs>